Hi friends! Today we're going to go over my November bullet journal with some concessions. So first we're going to flip through October so you can see how I used October. But also, today is currently November 6th, so I've already started putting things into November. And so when we get to November, it won't be clean and pristine and pretty like you would expect. But that's just a thing you're going to have to get used to. Um, so if you were here for October, you will have seen these. But as you can see, I didn't really add a whole lot to it, mostly because I kind of died in October. Uh, I was not available to the world for a while. Also the windows open so please ignore the chicken crowing outside. So flipping through of October, covering up Wallace's sister's name very carefully, flipping that. And I used some of these, not a lot. Um, this first week was kind of a like memory keeper of what we did while we were on vacation. Uh, this week I actually did pretty decent. This is the week that I died. I also made myself a note that this is the, the week that I started feeling sick and so nothing got done this week. Um, made some notes of like medications I started taking that week, um, different things. This week I was still questionable but feeling better um, and I ended up not using any of this. Whatever. Okay, on to November. So if you don't know, November is National Novel Writing Month which means those of us who write typically try to write a novel in November. I started planning this before I went over the cliff on the illness. And so there are goals in here that definitely are not being hit or met or um, it's not happening, but that's fine. Uh, so another thing that I wanted to talk about. So when I talked about having bullet journals and the reason why I went to this was so that I could have one journal for everything. I did get some questions about why I'm using this journal and I've got some other journals for other things. And so I wanted to clarify what I meant by only having one journal. I meant only one I need for a day. So for instance, in this we will see um, I have my monthly log, which has like important things on it. Birthday parties, Thanksgiving, daylight savings time, which was this morning. Um, election day, go vote if you haven't already. Um, but this has like my nano stuff in it and we'll see these better here in a second. My reading stuff and then like my weekly stuff. And so my goal was to before if I at the end of the day wanted to like write in what I had done that day or what my goals were for the following day, I would have to get three separate planners out for daily activity. Whereas in this, I only have to have this one planner for daily activity uh, because I've put my daily things or my weekly things all in this one planner. The other planner, which is my what I'm calling long term collections, is more of like things that I'm going to need that I want to keep together for a full year because this planner is not going to last me a full year. This is probably going to last me six to nine months. So the other planner is things that are yearly or monthly, things that I want to keep track of, things that I want the whole year in one place. Um, so to clear that up, because I did have some questions about that. Okay, um, so this is the first of my NaNoWriMo spreads. I ended up doing two. Um, this is my project. This is my old cover for the Anku's Curse. It also did not print well, because this is supposed to be like a neon pink. I've changed so much of the story that this cover does not exist anymore. But basically, I wrote in here like what my plot ish is. I didn't think this up ahead of time. I didn't make this pretty. I didn't edit it. This is literally just off the top of my head. So Emma is a 16 year old girl who aspires to have the perfect directorial debut for her school's play of Sleepy Hollow. But when a new girl shows up at school and an old man starts to follow her around town, the path to the show's opening, which is both her 17th birthday and Halloween, seems more treacherous than ever. Along with her best friend and super cute crush, Emma discovers more about her family's past and herself while navigating teen drama and an old family curse. So that's like my vibe. That's my thing. I've changed so much of the story. It's insane. I'm ready for it. I'm here for it. So my goals, which we're not going to get because obviously uh, 30 days of writing not happening because I had to bleed into this week 
to get other things accomplished because I had two weeks in October where nothing got done. Uh, rewrite French Grim Reaper with handwritten notes, your old style, which is basically what I used to do when I was writing and I haven't done it in a long time, um, which is just handwrite everything out as like a rough draft. I haven't done that in forever and I feel like the last time I got a really good story down, that was how I did it. And I've tried for the past while to do things the way that like, you know, other authors or other author tubers or people, you know, say like, do this, do that, whatever. And it's not working for me. And it took me way too long to realize the reason why that's not working for me is because I already had something that worked for me. And I just need to go back to that. That's a whole other thing for a whole other day. Um, we're changing cheer and football to drama and theater, mostly because I have no frame of reference for cheer and football. And I think when I started writing the story, my goal was to make Emma as different for me as possible. And it's just not working. Um, add in all the spooky rewatch or watch for the first time all of the streams from the October Water ride a -thon. So I wanted to, because I missed the entire ride -a I was basically in bed sick, um, asleep. I slept almost the whole weekend. I was awake for a few things that I needed to monitor, but for the most part, I was dead to the world. Um, so I want to watch all of the sprints from the ride -a -thon because it is my event and I do want to support the creators who help me run this event. So I want to use that for my sprinting this month. Have I started yet? No, but I do plan to do that. Um, I need new mock cover ideas. Not so important, but more of like when I want a writing break day, but still work on the story. And I also need to change Emma's last name because part of the last draft change was that Emma didn't know that she was cursed and that her family was on the run. And yet somehow she still had her family last name. That doesn't work out. Then we'll see where I'm at with my writing, which is not at all. Uh, this printout is from Sarah Cannon. I knew I was never going to get 50,000 words, but this was honestly the quickest, easiest way for me to keep track of like my daily word count and where I'm at um, versus having to write my own thing out or draw my own thing out. So I just printed it out and went with it. it moved on with life, basically. Uh, but I haven't started yet. So here we are. Uh, November reading. I basically did this the same as I did October's. December's is definitely going to be different because there's probably going to be some readathons and things, but this worked last month, so I'm using it again. Basically, just designs on the side, November reading across the top. Um, new releases. I've already read two books this month, so I'm doing fantastic. Um, new releases for the month December arcs, basically, the arcs that I have for December that I need to read by December. Will that happen? Who knows? Not me. Uh, my TBR for the month. And then I always write on there, like if I have an audiobook of it and where the audiobook is. Um, on the back side, because I didn't have the same extensive TBR that I had last month, I wrote in the books that I've read so far. And then I will put in my favorites and then any books that I have hauled, which this is already not filled out completely because I recently hauled the luminaries. I have two copies so far luminaries and I've read it and I gave it five stars so you know working on it um so this is my YouTube schedule I made a better calendar than I did last month um my last hex library sticker I'm not going to continue putting those out um but I had them from where I was trying them out so I just went ahead and put it on here um, my videos that I plan to do this month, there's nothing scary on there. You can sneak peek. I don't care. Uh, basically just recent arcs, October takedown. I still need to do September takedown. Um, my Archer and all the Halloween haul. You guys have seen that. Um, I have a DNF edition of recent arcs, my nano goals, which we're not doing because I just read them to you. I'm not doing a whole video about it. Ta-da! Um, birthdays, important dates. This is a sticker. Mm, I'm not that artistic. This is a sticker. Okay. Um, I tried in my weeklies this month to do some different things. Um, so I did like this offset. Um, and again, typewriters and paper is like the theme throughout the month um, because of Nano. And basically what I'm doing is just having like spot over here for any events or things that are happening that I want to remember. And then this top is tasks and then videos to film and edit. And then any admin tasks that I have. Again, normally you would see this and it would be pretty and pristine, but because I've already started using it this month, you know, here we are. Um, this might be one of my favorite ones that came out of this week. Um, I got this idea from Pinterest. Um, sorry, I just moved the camera. 
Uh, I got this idea from Pinterest and essentially it's just like different boxes, but there's more boxes than you need for the month. Um, but Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday, Sunday, and then some decorative boxes and the month November. Um, these are all just stickers that I had. This doesn't go with this set, but the color was right. So I went with it. And then again, tasks to film to edit admin this week, pumpkin-y, um, just a standard seven box layout. I never do. I know that like the six box layout where you put the weekend together makes more sense because it you know, is even on the page, but I cannot do my Saturday and Sunday together because Saturday and Sunday is where I do all the things. So I can't put it all together. It's just not working for me. Um, and this one was more decorative than what these ones are. I don't know that this is going to work out for me, but I figured I would give it a shot. And then the last week that will be in November, um, Again, it did this week, uh, Thanksgiving, did these little papers with the day of the week on it, and then tasks to film to edit admin. And then because it is Thanksgiving week, I went ahead and made myself a page. And then um, what I'm making for dinner, my to-do list, things I need to buy that's not the groceries themselves, and then a page for me to write in any like thoughts, fragments, brain dumps, whatever, things I want to change for next month um, in setup, layout, whatever. And then any December dates that I don't want to forget. And then that's it. That's the whole, sh that's the whole spiel. That's the whole thing. I do really like this one. I actually am really happy with the way that these turned out in comparison to last month's, um, which were further than I thought they were, which were just basically these. I didn't really have any room to write my tasks in besides this little spot up here. And um, I think it was worth making the smaller. It's not as pretty. Like, this is gorgeous, and I love this. Um, but I think if I do this, I'm going to have, in the, again, in the future, I'm going to have to find a way to do tasks better or to do, like, one page of tasks in these smaller boxes um, for events. I don't know. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to keep trying different things, um, but I definitely am liking this one. Again, this is only my second month of doing bullet journaling. Uh, so, you know, we're getting there. Uh, next month you'll be seeing both my December layout and also I'll be working on my new journal for, um, the, the yearly collections. I'm going to be working on that soon as well. So, all right, friends, that is going to be it for me today. I post reading, writing, book, and planner related content a couple of times a week. If you don't want to miss anything I have going on in the future, make sure you hit the subscribe button and the notification bell down below. And until then, I'll see you guys next time. Bye!